Now let's take a look at another item that one CNC XR7 has implemented within the mill software. This is very important. This has to do with high speed machining on pockets like this where the tool is just barely big enough to fit inside there. Now let me give you an example. Let's sit over here and let's go into our pocket operation. I'm going to select that pocket right there and I'm going to use a diameter tool that can barely fit in there. In fact I'm going to use a .625. That's going to be a 5 inch diameter end mill, 0.625, and we're going to say all this looks fine. We're going to click next on that, and let's check our clearance values. I'm going to say all that looks fine. I'm going to use high speed closed, and this is what I want to point out. In previous versions of 1CNC, we did not have the ability to control the actual diameter of the ramp helix. In 1CNC XR7, we can do that, and here it says using that tool, the ramp helix diameter, you can use a minimum of 0.156, or you can use a maximum of a 0.625. Now I'm going to change the helix diameter to 0.157. We're going to click next on that. We'll let one CNC generate the toolpath. And what you can see now is that tool can now helix in there using that very small helix diameter. Again, this is brand new to XR7, part of the active cut technology and a very powerful addition to one CNC.